Hey everyone, it's another Mazel Tov Yo's trick tutorial. This is going to be the non-throw hand, one-handed tower. So this is actually a lot easier than the throw hand, one-handed tower. When I first learned it, I was doing a whole chopstick roll and everything, and I realized you could just do it from a trapeze. So this starts from a trapeze. That simple. There's no knots, no nothing from here. I could drop the strings, it's not gonna make a knot. So, it's a nice, simple, and somewhat fancy picture trick for a beginner. So, figured I'd share it. Let's go around, we do this. Trapeze, we start from a trapeze, right? Regular trapeze, you can have our whole hand in, doesn't matter. But, here's where we start. Our pointed fingers, from both hands, come through the front of the string, right? The side further from my body. Point towards me, down, out, up. So that's the roll motion we do, right? Behind the strings. We come from the front, and then we're behind the strings. Roll up, you got these two loops. This horizontal string should be closer to your body than these vertical strings. So now what we're gonna do is insert our thumbs into those holes. I'm gonna grab this string with my, non with my throw hand. This string I'll grab with my non-throw hand. So, right, each hand grabs opposite vertical string. Grab, hands point down, bring them up, we're in the tower. Insert whatever fingers you want into here. One-handed tower, that's it. Now we can twist this tower around and it would still be a tower. Just the more the strings slip up, it's gonna wanna tighten and close up those holes that show the tower. So you wanna try to keep it level and keep some tension on the string just a bit. So here we go, trapeze, right? You can put your thumbs in if that makes it easier and then put your fingers through. But either way, both your pointers have to come through the front. So I like to replace it with my thumb. Pointers come through the front, then they point up. So they come from front, behind the strings, point up, open these holes with my thumbs, grab, grab, hands point down, one-handed tower, one-handed tower. This knot, it's not a real knot, it's gone. See, so there's no knots in this trick either. Trapeze, I guess the easiest way to do it would be replace your pointer with your thumb. You could do whatever finger, I could use my pinky if I wanted to, right? As long as both my pointer fingers end up coming through the front, come behind the strings, point up. Right, the pointer from your throw hand comes in, comes behind the string that's connected to bearing, the bearing string, and points up. The side furthest towards the non-throw hand side gets flicked up by the non-throw hand hand. Here, here. Open, grab, grab, grab this, and this comes, grabs this, point down, one-handed tower. So if you pinch this, it'll keep the shape better. If you pinch on top right here. The, the one that's on top of your non-throw hand, you could pinch it and that should keep the shape open better because sometimes when you're barely starting this trick, it might want to kink up and you're not going to see the tower. So that's a little trick tip there. Trapeze, replace the pointer with a thumb on the non-throw hand. Both pointers come through the front, behind the strings, point up. Open the holes with the thumbs, right? Thumbs above the pointers, so we can easily grab the strings, make them readily available. If we're like this, it's gonna be more fidgeting. No, let's just make them, make it easy. Grab, grab, we know we're grabbing the right strings now. Grab, grab, hands point down. I'll pinch this here, and there. See, now my shape, when I do that pinch, it stays better. Keeping those two fingers pinched the whole time. That's a fake knot. There you go. So, play around with this trick. I don't wanna say, oh, get out this way or get out of it that way. No, play around with the exits on any trick. That way you can put your own twist on it and really make it your own. So, hope you like this tutorial. I think it's a beginner-friendly tutorial. And have some fun with your upside down towers.
We'll be back with more tutorials.